And we begin tonight at five with some new details in the arrest of a former Hamburg police captain. And good evening, everyone. I'm Scott Levin and I'm Mary Ellis Demler. Now, last month when we first found out about this officer's arrest to on your sides, Emily Lampa filed a freedom of information request for the police report. Well, Hamburg officials released the document just this morning and Emily brings us this new information, which shows this is not the first domestic incident involving this former captain. We can't show you Christopher Monaco's face because the Hamburg police chief will still not release his professional photo or mugshot. But what we do have now is this police report detailing his arrest exactly one month ago on May 12th. The former Hamburg police captain faces one count of obstruction in connection with a domestic incident the night before Mother's Day. According to the police report, it was Christopher Monaco's brother John, a lieutenant with the department, who responded to the home. Police chief Gregory Wickett wrote in the report that Monaco had been highly intoxicated and was physically and verbally abusive to the officers at the scene. A brawl broke out between the brothers, which the chief claims was initiated by Christopher Monaco. The captain on duty, James Cook, also included his account of what happened. I arrived on location at about 12.05 and was met with John Monaco, who was visibly upset and stated while he was waiting for me outside, Chris came out, spit at him and began fighting with him. John stated that while they were fighting, his father attempted to assist him and became involved in the fight, causing his glasses to be broken. John states that during the fight, Chris was kicking him in the head, and at one point, John kicked Chris, splitting his lip. Captain Cook claims while Monica was restrained, he tried to order two officers to remove his handcuffs. The report also shows Monica's wife initially told officers her husband hit her, but she later recanted her statements. According to Chief Wickett's account, Christopher Monaco yelled at victim not to talk to police. All involved refused to file charges, and Monaco's wife refused to be interviewed or file a report. The police chief's statement included a note that police know of a previous domestic incident between Monaco and his wife back in 2017. Town Supervisor Jim Shaw told us back in May that he had heard about this, but he couldn't speak to what actions were taken. Uh, you'll have to ask the chief and past administrations. I wasn't here to do anything about it. The police chief responded to us today as he did last month. This is a personnel issue and I will have no comment. Well, Monaco had been placed on administrative leave without pay, but ultimately he retired from the police department effective this past Monday. According to the DA's office, Christopher Monaco had been set to appear in court tomorrow at 930 in the morning. That is no longer happening. We're told the hearing is in the process of being rescheduled. It's not clear why and when it's being moved to. The chief of the DA's Domestic Violence Bureau is now prosecuting this case. Emily Lampa, Channel 2 News.